Hello and welcome to another video episode of my podcast, Cappuccino Crafts. And my name is Cheryl. And um, this is a crafty, mostly knitting, uh, sometimes a little crochet, um, and then also chatter about books and tea and um, TV and movies and uh, other things that capture my interest. Um, so I thank you for um, turning on this video and choosing to spend a little time with me. I hope uh, you enjoy having some, some crafty chat and knitting or crocheting or what, uh, spinning, crafting together. Yeah. Um, uh, my username on social media is cappuccino136. And uh, where you can find me on social media is Ravelry, Instagram, and Goodreads. Um, so, yeah. And I will spell that and um, have other information about uh, books or patterns or yarns or specific things I talk about. Um, I'll put that in the show notes in the information box below this video. Um, so that's where the show notes will be. And hopefully that's helpful for you um, for anything you'd like to look up and get more information about. Yeah. So let's get started. I, I hope you have um, whatever beverage you choose. Um, you can hit pause now and go get something. I'll still be here. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, grab a beverage. Uh, if you want a little snack, that's good too. Um, and grab your yarn, your hook, your needles, your spinning wheel. Um, whatever you need and and yeah let's enjoy some good crafting together so when I knit or crochet in my bedroom this is where I usually sit I'm on my bed I'm trying this slightly different setup just to kind of switch things up a little bit I was feeling a little bored with just always sitting in the same spot and this is more like where I would actually do some crafting or reading when I'm upstairs. So yeah, it's a little bit more natural habitat, <laughs> as you might say. Um, so yeah, things are just kind of marching on. Um, the, this is the progress on my Mercury socks, which I am enjoying. Like I said in the last video, um, this is a good pattern, the Mercury lace pattern is a good pattern for just having a little something to pay attention to, but not having to concentrate too hard. Um, it kind of hits that, uh, that perfect level. Um, so these are going well and I really like them. Um, this is not, I admit, I admit this is not like the perfect combination of yarn and pattern. Just because if it wasn't for socks, socks is really the only place I would do stripes with a lace pattern. Uh, that's not usually uh, an ideal situation, but I wasn't going for the ideal with this project. I just knew I needed a little pattern to pay attention to, and I wanted to use this yarn. It was readily handy, and I wanted to use it up. So I wasn't going for the ideal. I would like to make a pair of socks with this mercury pattern in a solid because I think it would look really really lovely um, with a solid or a subtle semi-solid 
think would it would show the lace really beautifully um, so I might do that with a, with a solid yarn another time um, yeah and I am making good progress on my boxy sweater by Hohi Locatelli. I am still alternating skeins. I'm just going to continually alternate skeins um, all the time just to keep everything blended. Um, that really is the best practice with hand dyed skeins. So yeah, and this is uh, very just zen and, and brainless, uh, really good for uh, listening or watching something else. So this doesn't take attention away from paying attention to uh, what people are saying or a plot in a TV or audiobook. Although I have not listened to audiobooks this week, um, but I have watched TV or podcasts while working on this. And um, yeah, this is really great for that. Yeah, so I hope your week has been well. Um, I mean, good. <laughs> I can speak English, yes, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I hope I hope you had a good week. Um, my week was pretty good, but um, my mom had a rough patch over the weekend, and that was kind of scary. Um, but we're we're working with her doctor and making appointments and things to to uh, get things a bit uh, a bit better for her um, yeah so it was a rough a rough weekend um, but today today is going well she uh, really seems to be feeling better so that's good we just want to keep it that way and um, yeah so I have been watching um, I zombie I've been come come back to I zombie this week which is a TV show uh, kind of a it's got a little bit of everything. It's got comedy and drama and zombies with a little bit of, so a little bit of zombie horror, but not, I, I think most real horror people would say it's not horror. But um, yeah. And it's really, it's a really fun show. If you, if you like zombies at all, I think it would be a kind of fun, a different take. And um, the writing is kind of clever and it's just, it's good fun. The comedy is strong in it, but they also have really good character drama moments too. Um, but not too, he not too heavy, heavy. It's not, um, it's not like, Handmaid's Tale intense drama, <laughs> but it's a good balance. I think it strikes a great balance. And also, who knew zombies were foodies? What? Yeah, there's so many funny uh, brain cooking scenes where 
they're making all these gourmet gourmet brain dishes uh the zombies do and hot sauce zombies need all the hot sauce they can't eat anything without it um so you learn it's educational too you know it's hilarious um but yeah so i've been enjoying that and uh, also watching some stand-up specials uh, that have been available uh, on demand or whatnot. And some of them have been hilarious and some of them have been meh. But um, when I need a laugh, sometimes stand-up is really fun for me. So... I do like to to go to that sometimes when when I need a little more comedy in my diet. So, have you been watching anything really enjoyable? Um, yeah. What what kind of things do you like to to watch or listen to? Um, do you have any favorite YouTube channels? Yeah, that'd be fun to chat about in the comments. So, I'd love to hear from you about that. Um, or hear, hear about your current projects. What, are, what projects are you working on while you're watching YouTube or while you're, you know, uh, watching TV or listening to audiobooks? Um, yeah, what are the projects you have going right now and ha uh, what kind of projects do you like to do? I'd, I'd love to chat about that with with you in the comments. Um, yeah. Okay, so um, before we uh, move on, I do want to show you something. Um, I've got my socks in this little um, basket box thing. It's kind of feels like in between a basket and a box. Uh, I got it at the dollar store like three weeks ago or so. I just keep forgetting to, <laughs> to show it and talk about it. Um, but I thought it was a great find um, and it was a dollar for for one basket I, w I went there looking for uh, things to help dad sort the mail he wanted to, to be able to, to sort and divide things up so I found these and I thought they're, that was perfect for what dad wanted, but then I also thought I need a couple too because I think a project would sit so nicely in here and it does. And for, um, like if you have, a, these are kind of round-ish oblong and they can tend to roll on you. Um, or if you have like round, like hand, hand wound round balls, they can really roll. So this keeps things uh, under control and stops them from rolling everywhere, which I love. Um, and you can't beat it for just one dollar. So I, I wanted to share that. Um, in case any of any watchers in North America uh, might want to look at a dollar store near them to see if they have anything similar. Because um, I hadn't ever thought to look for something like that there um, that might fit a project, but works really well. Um, yeah, let's see, 
Anything else I've been meaning to talk about but have been forgetting in my other episodes? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. So we have covered the crafts um, and talked a little bit about TV. I don't think there's anything else I want to say about things I'm watching. Um, other than that, I have started a list. I'm thinking of making a video about quirky, weird um, comedy show, uh, TV series. Um, a lot of them that are on the list are like sci-fi sitcom or sci-fi comedy uh yeah i'm thinking about making a a little video just centered on that little niche because uh there's some fun shows that i enjoy that are kind of and it, they're not a lot of that kind of show um i zombie is one of them that i have on that list um, so if you think that that sounds like it would be an interesting, uh, thing you'd like to hear about in a video, let me know if you, uh, want to see that video, uh, or if you think it's a good idea. If it's something you'd want to watch. Yeah. Uh, uh, I made a list and I'm starting to think about that. And... Ooh, reading. Let's go to the reading. Um, and reading is just kind of marching on too. I'm about halfway, approaching halfway through both of my Peter S. Spiegel books. And I did confirm uh, the identity of the mysterious... Uh, mythological creature goddess in hiding has been confirmed and I was right. She is Persephone. Um, so, yeah, I guess yay me for getting it right. It took me so long though because I really was thinking more like non-human creature like sphinx or unicorn or uh you know pegasus that kind of uh, minotaur you know something something not not human at all but uh yeah so uh, about halfway through that book, I'm still enjoying it, but I, I think uh, some things might not, I think things are about to get, get a little messy, and I'm not sure if things are going to go uh, in the direction that I thought they might, but that's always interesting, you know, you don't want things to be too predictable at all. And so, but I think I'm really getting into the real, uh, the things are about to really get wild. Well, not wild, not like action blockbuster explosions kind of wild, but um, I think uh, some big things are, are gearing up. And I'm not sure what that's going to mean, and I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. Um, I'm hoping for the best for these characters, because I've grown to really like them. And I was kind of rooting uh, for things to go one way. Well, that's kind of what I hoped for, and I'm not sure if things are going to go that way. But it might be better. Then, I mean, I might 
in the end, I might like it better than what my original thought was. Anyway, so yeah. Not, not uh, tons of progress on anything or not, you know. I hope you're not getting bored of <laughs> the same sweater and the same socks and uh, I'm, I'm not moving super quickly through these books or projects, but I, I hope you don't mind. Um, and I'm going to try and always have some interesting things to, to talk about other than that. Um, but yeah, that's how life is sometimes, you know, things don't always go fast. And I'm not a person that wants to be on a fast pace and um, wants to necessarily be on the deadline and, and how fast can I do this? How fast can I do that? And how many things can I get done in this time? Uh, that's not how I like to be. So... So that's just kind of, that's what it is. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the fall. I'm really looking forward to fall. I love, it's my favorite season. Well, that and spring. Spring is right after fall, I, I but I love them both. And really getting excited for that to, to really kick in and I think a lot of fiber crafters really like fall I feel like you can I feel like you it's kind of in general a lot of us enjoy that uh, it feels kind of like our, our yarny season, you know, it's time for sweaters, it's time for, uh, yarn, uh, you know, having your yarn out and hot tea or hot coffee next to you, um, kind of our jam for a lot of us. And when I was growing up, I always loved back to school season. Fall always meant back to school. And I loved that. I was always excited for, for, uh, for back to school. And so, yeah, fall has a lot of good associations for me. It really does. Um, do you have a favorite season? What, what, what is your favorite season? Or do you live in a in an area where you don't really have very distinct seasons? <laughs> Maybe there's a wet and a dry season, or you know, uh, just kind of it's. It's kind of almost the same most of the year. <laughs> but if you do have seasons where you live, uh, what, what is your favorite season? And what do you like to do in, in that season? Yeah, that'd be a good, a good chat to have in the comments. Um, so I think we've come to the, to the end of this episode. I hope that you and your family are all doing well, and I hope all your creative projects are progressing and 
going going smoothly. Yeah, here, here I'm doing the alternating right here. I got to the, I'm dropping this one and I'm picking this one up. I am using the helical method um, for alternating skeins. I'm doing helical knitting. I uh, got this technique from Grace of Babel's Traveling Yarns. I watched her tutorial on helical knitting. Um, now there is more than one way to do helical knitting. Um, just like pretty much with all crafting, there's always more than one technique and more than one way to get get the result. But um, this is this made the most sense for me with just having two skeins um, and. Yeah, and I, it's working really well. I'm really happy with this method of helical knitting. And I love Babel's Traveling Yarns podcast. Grace is really, really fun. And she has the two cutest cats. Yeah, adorable. So I do, on my channel, have... All my favorite crafting podcasts featured on the sidebar. So if you ever wonder what my favorite uh, crafting podcasts are, you can look there. And they are there's a list of the featured uh, my favorite crafting podcasts. I highly recommend all of them. Yeah. So take care and see you next time.